my name is Andrew Becker, and I'm a consultant with Red Hat. I'm joined today by Chris Pittman, who is an architect with Red Hat Consulting. Welcome to our whiteboarding session, and today we'll be talking about Active MQ7 and microservices. Okay, so before getting into MQ7, uh, could you give me a rundown of how microservices communicate today? So, microservices can either communicate synchronously or asynchronously. In the synchronous case, our client is usually sending um, communications with HTTP through a load balancer, which then is processed by our server. In the asynchronous case, you're usually using a message broker. So your client will enqueue a message and receive an acknowledgement from that queue. The server will then receive that message from the queue and process it. OK, uh, so given the current state, now let's talk about AMQ7. OK, so what is AMQ7? So AMQ7 is based on the upstream, upstream Apache AMQ Artemis and Apache Cupid projects. It contains your traditional message broker, it contains a variety of client libraries, and a new interconnect feature. OK, so brokers, clients, I get that. What is interconnect? So interconnect is a message router. So instead of, unlike a traditional broker, which would store messages, it actually create, creates a mesh network that connects your client and your services. OK, so if it's a mesh network, how does my client and service actually communicate with each other? So your client would send a message through this interconnect network. It's acknowledged by your service instead of your message broker in the traditional case that we covered. And after going through this interconnect network, your service processes that message. OK, and how is that different from a broker and a network of brokers? So it's different than a network of brokers because no messages are stored on these interconnect nodes. Instead, um, it just passes the message right through to what is eventually going to process it. OK, so uh, basically all of my acknowledgments are end to end instead of going hop to hop through brokers. Exactly. OK, then uh, what happens if uh, interconnect node fails? Like what is my HA approach? Sure. So say that there's a catastrophic failure on this interconnect. So the router is intelligent enough to detect when there's a failure. And instead of blindly trying to route messages through that failed node, it will instead use redundancies in the network to still make sure that your message reaches the service that it needs to. OK. Um, what about you know, use cases where I, I still need a queue, you know, message batching, offline processing, that kind of thing? Sure. So you can add a broker behind an interconnect. So your client will still send a message through the interconnect. But behind that, it's being enqueued. And the service is still receiving its message from the interconnect. But it's gone from the broker to the interconnect and the interconnect to the service. So we've transparently added this broker behind the scenes. We say transparent. Does that mean the client and service didn't have to change at all? They, they don't need to know that this is here. The change is all uh, in, in the interconnect layer. Awesome. So basically what you're saying is I can use messaging for all of my client service communication, uh, you know, asynchronous, synchronous, the client and service don't care. No. Now you can use messages for everything that you're doing. Interesting. OK, so what if I want to learn more about AMQ7? So if you want to learn more, you can contact your account executive. They can schedule a discovery session, and you can see what AMQ7 and Red Hat Consulting can do for you. Or you can reach out to us directly at redhat.com slash consulting.